Last calling in readable. Number zero, Mike Inky, Torn Star. Number zero, Mike Inky, Torn Star. Number zero, zero, Papa. I had traffic on tour final with the lightning. Can you uh, let me know if you see them? What's up guys and welcome to ATC Point of View. If you are new to the channel, my name is Lex and thanks for joining me. This accident happened on November 30th, 2022 at Zamperini Field. Zamperini Field is located in Torrance, California, which is about 10 miles south of Los Angeles International Airport. It is classified as a reliever airport serving mostly props and small jets. It has two parallel runways. The runway being used at the time of the accident was runway 11 right, which is about 3,000 feet long. The aircraft involved was an experimental Arion Lightning LS-1 with two souls on board, and the uh, pilot was in the tire pattern for about 18 minutes before the accident. So let's check it out. Number zero, Mike Yankee. Traffic that you're following passed off your right about half an hour ago. You can turn crosswind at your discretion to follow. Your number two, runway 2 under right, so touch and go there. Full stop. Roger, number two, one, one, right, zero, Mike Yankee. Number six here, Papa, straight out to purchase approved, only one, one left, so for takeoff. Thanks for your patience. Number zero, Mike Yankee, you have the traffic you're following in sight? Uh, this is Mike Yankee, okay. Number zero, Mike Yankee, they're one mile ahead of you, 200 feet below. Okay, we'll slow down a little here. One zero, Lima, going around. Number one zero, Lima, Roger, continue in a right close traffic. Continue right close traffic, one zero Lima. Number zero, Mike Inky, you're number one now. Traffic ahead is going around. Wind zero nine zero four. Oh, okay, six zero Mike Inky. Okay for turning base here. Yes, you're number one now. Say again. Yes, you're number one. Okay, we're set to go on one right. Thank you. One zero six zero seven. Number zero, Mike Yankee. Traffic you're following is the swing on half mile final. Just ahead into your right. Seven hundred indicated. Runway two nine are right. So touch and go. They are full stop. Leave space. Roger. Zero, Mike Yankee. Number two. Hold on, right. Wind one zero zero eight. Zero, zero, Mike Yankee, runway one, one, right, so touch and go. So touch and go, to zero, Mike Yankee, one, one, right, thank you. Last calling in readable. Number zero, Mike Yankee, four, five. Number zero, Mike Yankee, four, five. Zero, zero, Papa. I had traffic on tour final with the lightning. Can you uh, let me know if you see them? Well, look, I'm good, Papa. No, zero, zero, Papa. Uh, disregard, I see him now. Papa, just stay with me for now. I'm going to make the coordination to get you across the Pond Hotel. Ground is taking a turn right now. Coming from turn into Tiggins. So there might be a little confusion because at the start of the audio, we keep hearing the controller saying runway 29 or right, but the pilots kept reading back runway 11 right. 
That's probably because they just had a runway change and the controller was still stuck in that mindset. But runway 11 right is the actual runway in use. Once Sierra Lima was inbound from the southeast, while Zero Mike Yankee was already in the tire pattern at the time, the controller instructs Zero Mike Yankee to follow one Sierra Lima. He never gets them in sight, but the controller kept them updated on the other aircraft's position. One Sierra Lima was supposed to land, but they told the air traffic controller that they'd be going around. So now Zero Mike Yankee gets told that they're number one for the runway. They do their touch and go and then continue right close traffic for the runway. Once Sierra Lima was able to successfully land on their next pass, and Zero Mike Yankee does another touch and go behind them. As they come back around for another approach, it sounds like they had some kind of struggle in the cockpit and tried to communicate that with the air traffic controller, but it wasn't clear, so the air traffic controller had no idea what's going on. The aircraft crashes just short of the runway between Texas Bravo and Charlie. Let's check out the local news coverage. The small plane went down in a grassy area just at the west end of the runway. Officials say it was coming in for a landing when it crashed. The question is, did the pilot relay any information to the control tower? The FAA is now here on scene. It just started its investigation, so it could be hours before it can release any official information. There were two people on board, and they both died in the crash. They've not been identified yet, and there are no reports of any injuries on the ground. The NTSB is also here. Officials say there is no information on the cause of the crash and for now cannot release any more information. There definitely was a plane crash here. The airport is closed right now. Um, the airspace above the airport is closed uh, and that's because of the plane crash. It's going to continue to be closed until the FAA is unseen. They're the primary investigator. And people here say this is really a safe airport. They tell us that this is the first incident here in almost 20 years. They say that was a helicopter that crashed back in 2003. This one's kind of tough because we have no idea what happened. Um, maybe it was the aircraft. Maybe it was the pilot, but we're not sure. The preliminary report is still not out yet, but, you know, typically those wouldn't have that much information uh, regarding as to what happened until the full investigation is completed. So it is a tough one, but guys, share your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the incident, and as always, peace.